At a Park County Commissioner work session in November 2023, Amy Mitchell, chair of the Board of Commissioners, said, Any time we can automate and either take a little bit of the pressure off of staff and increase accuracy and allow staff to do the people stuff they do. Good. We're all for it. It ends up paying for itself. She addressed the assessor, Monica Jones, who had just informed Mitchell that part of her expenses for the new year would be software systems purchases and renewals that will continue to assist with the laborious tasks she must complete to fulfill her duties as the elected assessor. Mitchell neglected to question the proprietary nature of the technology assessor Jones was using or planning to use. She did not question how the software and machines associated with it work. She failed to ask Assessor Jones if the software manufacturers specifically state whatever the programs do is done accurately. The systems the assessor uses do, after all, affect deeds, assessments, and property taxes, all vitally important to Park County citizens. But could one or all the technology-based systems Assessor Jones uses be infested with fraud-producing imps, bad actors, scoff laws, or open to manipulation by such vermin? Shouldn't there be an audit of the information from the assessor's technology systems? Shouldn't the assessor's clerks and a cast of hundreds backtrack all the paper-based data entered into those machines, study it, and recompute it by hand to ensure the technology worked? No. She didn't ask Assessor Jones those questions. She didn't raise all those red flags. All she said was, strokes, but anytime we can automate and either take a little bit of pressure off of staff um, and um, increase accuracy and allow staff to do the people stuff they do, um, good, we're all for it because it ends up paying for itself. But she's on record asking all those questions regarding election machine technology, specifically concerning the Dominion and clear ballot systems. Is the Dominion machines. And I still have this gut feeling that because the software is proprietary and we, that software cannot be audited um, by anyone, and it hasn't been because it's proprietary, that, that I still have this gut feeling that um, we don't exactly know how it works. And second of all is I read, reread the contract that was signed in 2016. Nowhere does it say these machines will accurately count votes. It has all the stuff about voting and, and all the stuff, but it doesn't make that, that, that specific statement. And so my only, my idea is, is we must use the Dominion equipment based on, on statute. And I completely understand that, but to do a hand count, just to verify that the expenditure of, I think, so anyway, it's in the, in the 36-ish thousand-ish area. Well, that's not chump change um, and it's everyone's money. Um, and so um, I just thought to answer the question once and for all, um, it would be something we could do. And so I just wanted to have a conversation about it because I don't like, I don't like an agreement that doesn't give me certainty that it's going to do what it says it's going to do. So. Why, one cannot help but wonder, is Mitchell comfortable with the assessor's technology even praising its use, but not the clerk and recorder's vote tabulation technology? Well, we all know why, don't we? Amy Mitchell, chair of the Park County Board of County Commissioners, believes the big lie. And just like District 3 Commissioner Dave Whistle, in doing so, she necessarily must feed her most rabidly far-right Christian nationalist constituency with the fodder they consume, as if it were nectar sent directly from heaven, from the hand of God himself, arguably through the auspices of Donald Trump. Her sacredly inspired mission demands hand counts of election ballots, an irrefutable distrust of science and technology, where else could those gizmos in the Dominion machines have come from? And from her standpoint, the equally indisputable certainty that humans made in the image of God can count little black dots 
better than machines. April 18, 2023, during the Board of County Commissioners' work session, Mitchell invited two Big Lie proponents to present their dog and pony show ostensibly to enhance voter confidence in Park County. It didn't matter that the vast majority of Park County citizens already have confidence in the integrity of the county's elections. No, as I said, Mitchell must feed her rabidly far-right constituency. One of the presenters was David Justice, who isn't a taxpayer in Park County and who was, and perhaps still is a citizen of the Kingdom of Heaven, associated with the sovereign citizen movement, which abjures worldly governments to the extent Justice drove around for ten years with a Kingdom of Heaven-issued driver's license, plates, insurance, and registration before being caught, convicted, and sentenced to six months for that silliness. Among other things, here is who David Justice is. If the county commissioners aren't going to step up and protect those roads, then it's up to the people to stand up and protect those roads. If they see us protecting what belongs to us, I think they're going to take an interest in getting involved. Exactly. But if they're going to continue to abdicate the authority that's been granted to them, if they're going to continue to sell America out and throw Americans under the bus to serve their international global bankers that have completely corrupted America's economy, and are now foreclosing on America, and I think the real reason for the, the whole road closure thing is to secure those mineral rights for those banks. Because sooner or later those banks are going to foreclose on America and there's some great assets in them their hills. So right now we can take America back one road at a time, just go open one. Oh, you're going to, oh, oh, let me get this straight. David's preaching sedition now, really? Am I, when I say that we have a duty to throw off government, is that sedition or is that America? All right, now am I talking about acts of terrorists here? Or am I just talking about taking back what rightfully belongs to us? Again, the foundation is the Declaration of Independence. And the foundation of the Declaration of Independence is the principles that are espoused in Holy Scripture. And the primary principle of Holy Scripture is that we have an invisible king who is our Father in heaven. Hallowed be his name. May his kingdom come. If we stand in that spirit and just begin to push back by taking it back, be free, and have some people backing you up to bail you out if you get arrested. In, in a nation that's, that's so corrupted that it, invo it is involved in treason every day of its life, it, it, and, and treason becomes so commonplace, and the people become so jaded because we reach back to a place of, well, what can we do? That's when it's time for the people to take back what belongs to them. One might think Mitchell alone discovered the hill upon which to plant her righteous hand Count Banner. However, could it have been David Justice from whom she took the ideas and the verbiage to justify her crusade? What we're proposing is a resolution to, to resolve this problem once and for all. Put it to rest once and for all. That's Answer the question once and for all. Go back and and do the commissioners in the capacity of Title 30. Our requirements under Title 30. In November of 2021, Mitchell joined Ron Hanks. You do remember Ron Hanks, right? We'll see here. I think we have significant problems here in Colorado. 
I think we ought to scrub the voter rolls clean and start over. And frankly, the mail-in ballots is a big problem. To repeat, in November of 2021, Mitchell joined Ron Hanks in a lawsuit against Gina Griswold, Colorado's Secretary of State. The suit claimed all sorts of nefariousness by Griswold in administering the 2020 election. An election Mitchell is on record saying is still not settled, even to this day. In October 2021, she ballyhooed using $10,000 of Park County taxpayer money to hand count the 2020 election results just to ease the nagging feeling in her gut that she doesn't know, quote, what's inside those machines. At that time, she suggested that rather than purchasing clear ballot election tabulation machines to confirm the accuracy of the Dominion machine's tabulation of votes, the $10,000 would be better spent hand-counting the November 2020 election results in Park County because, as so many of her far-right constituents believe, Donald Trump actually won that election. The co-plaintiffs of the November 2021 lawsuit against Griswold were Hanks, Mitchell, and Jeff Rector, a Rio Blanco County commissioner who subsequently resigned. Gary Moyer, a Rio Blanco County commissioner who was later recalled. And Merlin Klotz, Douglas County clerk, who in December 2020 posted on Facebook an assertion that former Vice President Pence had the power on January 6th to declare election results in Arizona, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and other states illegal. A late arrival to the lawsuit, Elbert County Clerk Dallas Schroeder shared copies of voting machine hard drives with unauthorized persons. The primary allegation in the lawsuit, a conspiracy conjured by the big lie cabal, was that the Colorado Secretary of State, Gina Griswold, failed to employ a federally accredited laboratory to test Colorado voting systems before the 2020 election. Yes, the lies just kept coming. Secretary of State Griswold used Pro-V and V to test Colorado's voting systems. Contrary to the conspirators' claims, the company was fully accredited under 52 U.S.C. 20971 before the 2020 election. The primary argument of the big lie conspirators was should we be surprised? A lie. 